Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today I'm going to be going over a quick common question and issue a lot of people get. Now, the Fire TV Stick is an amazing device. It's easy to use. It plugs in the back of your TV. It's fast. It works. And there's very, very minimal issues other than storage space. But the more and more you use your actual Fire TV Stick, you might notice more buffering. You might notice um, performance issues and freezing. That's because there is a specific way to actually force close the app so it's not running in the background. Because even if you actually reboot your Fire TV Stick, it's still running in the background. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your performance and minimize freezing. Stay tuned. If you guys find this video and my other videos helpful, please click on the thumbs up button down below and click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all future and new videos. Now guys, this is my homepage of my Fire TV Stick 4K. I'm going to show right here, go into settings. I'm going to go into the My Fire TV. About, as you can see, I have the uh, Fire TV Stick 4K here. So, um, I have the Fire TV uh, OS version 6.2.8.0. But it should work basically with um, any version that you have. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that I just turned this device on after a reboot, right? And I'm going to show you that there's still applications running in the background. Now, with that, we need an application that's not pre installed, but you think it would be. So, that one is called here Background Apps and Process List. Now, by default, this is actually not installed on the Fire TV Stick. To install it, it's actually really simple. Go to Find. And let's search for it using Alexa. Background Apps and Process List. There you go. Tap the first one. And there you go, background apps and process list. You click on it. I've already have it installed, so it does not suck and actually actually install it. But it's the one here with the icon of the little heart shaped symbol and the and the EKG symbol. Once you actually open it up, you'll see that it says I have six apps open in the background. Wait a second, Mist. I already rebooted my Fire TV stick. Why it's still open? That's because unlike a computer. When you reboot your Fire TV sticks, it's not smart enough to clear everything that's stored in, in your uh, RAM. So you actually have to actually force close the apps yourself. And then, basically, reboot the Fire TV stick so you can start with a clean slate and maybe clear cache. And it, because, because the RAM is limited, you have to really know how to use it. So, I remember even closing all these apps, but I guess it's not. So what I'm going to do here is click on close all apps. One by one, it's going to take it to the, to the actual apps, and I can start closing them. So, force stop. Force stop. And do it to all the applications. I'm actually clicking on back in between the applications. And now you see here, two apps open in the background. I want to force close these guys. Come on, force stop. Or stop. It still thinks there's one app open, so I keep on doing it until I get no apps open. I'm not sure why file link thinks it's open, but I'm gonna go ahead and force up everything, refresh, no apps open. Now I'm gonna go up to the home screen. I'm gonna go here into the settings under the My Fire TV, restart. And I'm going to hit restart. Now I'm actually in the progress of restarting my Fire TV. And now when it opens up to the beginning, I shouldn't have anything open. Because the space is actually really, really limited. And I'll show you when the actual Fire TV boots back up here.
Now if the actual Fire TV stick is actually booted up again, what I'm going to do now is go to my app section. And I'm going to scroll down to the uh, background apps and process list. And you'll see I have nothing open. Now let's go ahead for example and open up an app just for the sake of it. Let's open up YouTube for example. Right? YouTube is now open. And go ahead for example click and click on actual video. Once I'm on actual video, I'm going to exit the app. Go back home. Let's open up uh, for example IP Vanish. Exit the app. Go back home. Now, I theoretically closed the application, is what people actually think. But I'm going to go ahead back to my applications here. And you'll see it's still running in the background. So it's using up that space. IP Vanish. So YouTube probably wasn't open for a long time, or it didn't properly open up. Or I guess it's smart enough to close itself, but IP Vanish is running in the background. Now, in this case, you probably do want some apps running because IP Vanish, you want it running for your VPN. But for example, let's say I go into File Linked, right? I put in the code uh, 2311 9623. Click Continue. Once I'm done installing my applications, I don't really need this running, right? So I'm going to close it here. Let's say, for example, I open up uh, a different application. Let's say, for example, I open up, uh, I don't know. Let's say I open up ES File Explorer, right? You don't really need it around the background because you only it's only like a one-time app. So I'm gonna go back home here. We're gonna go back to the application icon here. And you'll see that it's still running in the background, but you theoretically closed it. Refresh. File link is now running in the background. So this is a good app to check every now and then. If it's slow, you don't have you don't have to do it actually all the time, but just when you think your Fire TV needs a little performance boost. And that's basically it, guys. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know as well or ideas for next videos. I'll be happy to answer them as well. Feel free to leave me a thumbs up. This video is actually helpful. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.